my name is Andrew McWilliams and I am a director of ThoughtWorks Arts, which is a program that I co-founded with Dr. Ellen Perlman, which connects exploratory artists to the commercial tech industry. We work with artists who are dealing with emerging technologies and exploring the impacts on industry, culture, and society. Today I'm going to talk to you about a system that we created that detects human emotions through facial expressions, written in the Python programming language. We call it EmoPy, as in emotion and Python. And I'll explain where EmoPy came from and why we made it the way we did, both as an art project and as a social good. In 2017, ThoughtWorks Arts put out an open call looking to work with an artist, somewhere in the space of bias and AI. We found the artist Karen Palmer, who was working on an interactive film experience called Riot. And this was based on a prototype emotion detection system developed by Dr. Hong Ying Meng of Brunel University in London. The prototype was written in MATLAB, which is a proprietary programming language, and so it was kind of a little inaccessible. So by working with Karen, we decided we had the, the opportunity to do two things. One, we could help develop the art project, Riot. And two, we could rewrite the emotion detection to expand on the functionality and to make it open source as EmoPy. So let's take a look at Riot. Riot is a film that you watch and it watches you back. There's a camera at the top of the screen monitoring your facial expression as you navigate through a dangerous riot in progress. And the film has different outcomes depending on the emotional response of each viewer. The webcam feed is sent to the EmoPy neural nets, which were created by a team of developers at ThoughtWorks, led by Angelica Perez, with team members in India, Brazil, and the USA. And actually, there are some people right here who've worked on it too. Hey, guys. Um, now, from my point of view, developing EmoPy as an art project alongside Riot means that we came at it from a very different perspective than is commonly done with commercial projects. And this is really important. It's crucial even to understanding why we produced what we did the way we did. Uh, commercial uses include things like marketing and sales, so that's figuring out how people feel about products and services, or healthcare and wellness, so that's looking at how people respond to care, but also things like robotics, and so that's designing robots that are more emotionally aware, for example. But these industries are not typically the direct developers of these types of AI systems. It's the tech industry where these systems are being created and offered to customer industries as a paid service. And these tech companies have huge resources, like massive data sets with millions of images, teams of developers who are running continuous test rigs, inching accuracy numbers higher and higher. But when AI is done in that way, it's locked away from public view. The code and the data sets are all trade secrets. So it's difficult for outside reviewers to understand how the algorithms are really working. And that's important because really what this is, emotion detection, is it's just one more data point that can be used to monitor people and to make judgments about our psychology. And you can imagine that there are benevolent and there are dystopian uses to that type of technology. So with EmoPy, we did the opposite. We worked to democratize access to the tech. We open sourced the code. We used only public data sets. We published several neural network models along with comparative analyses of each to enable people to really dig in and learn about and understand how this tech really works. So we're very proud of that effort to bring this particular form of AI out into the open, warts and all. And so to build on that, ThoughtWorks Arts has announced a new residency for an artist to look at the big picture of the democratization of AI using blockchain and Dr. Ben Goetzel's Singularity Net project as a reference point. If you're interested in that, you can apply on our website. It's thoughtworksarts.io. Click the red banner at the top to apply. And to keep in touch more generally, you can check out the newsletter and social links. Thank you.